I mean, this focus group just loved Fred, thought he won the night. When you tuned into Scratch Scarborough, the three of you who do, you heard something that would make you think is there must have been another debate on. Somewhere else, there must have been a handful of Republican candidates, uh, including Fred Thompson, and they turned in an entirely different performance. It was so painfully obvious that Fred Thompson went to John McCain yeah. yesterday morning. I lose it. If, if I can stay awake through this debate, I'll attack Huckabee. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Mm. So, so, so they went, so now Thompson, this is, this is the most, I, it's just so easy to read. Thompson is now beating up Mike Huckabee for John McCain. Yeah. He chooses now to wake out of his slumber. All of a sudden he's energetic. Oh. He's all over. He's awake? I want to see him He's awake. all over Mike. Jerry Thompson joins us. Mrs. Thompson, good to talk to you. Thanks for uh, coming on. Thanks for having me. How are you? Good. So everybody said, you know, the, the uh, focus groups after last night's debate said Fred, Fred, Fred. Do you think Fred was much different last night than he's been in the last few months? Um, actually, no, not really. I mean, not really. The interesting thing for me was that, you know, obviously uh, coming from his wife, I'm sure you know I'm slightly biased, but, you know, he has substantive thoughtful answers and, he, and he's had them for quite a long time. I don't know if people noticed this last night, but he had to intervene to actually get a question asked of him uh, on Saturday and Sunday. He did a really great job on those nights as well, but that focus group happened to be in New Hampshire, where there had been a lot of folks and a lot of money spent on recruiting, you know, recruiting folks for Mitt Romney. I wonder so much what a focus group would look like in Tennessee. No, Jerry, uh, <laughs> our our listeners uh, love Fred Thompson, and we uh, thank you, everybody. We have been. Um, We've been very supportive of him, too. I mean, we have come out and made an actual choice on this show, but uh, he is among that the short list that we consider presidential quality uh, on, on this program. He got really criticized on the Morning Joe show, Joe Scarborough. We call him Scratch around here. Did you know that's a shorthand word for describing no ratings, Scratch? <laughs> And uh, in in he Scarborough said Fred went after Huckabee on behalf of John McCain that he essentially was acting as John McCain's hatchet man. Now, how would you respond to that charge? Well, Mr. Scarborough has a history uh, with Fred and I early on. It's it's sort of interesting to me that he would bring his son to meet um, Fred at a fundraiser and say how much his son looked up to Fred when then he says these things. And you know, we all know the history that, that of Joe and his comments about me. I think he has a mixed agenda, and um, pe pe people do a lot of things for, for ratings and to, and to be president, not my husband. We have nothing Jerry. to lose but our integrity, and we're going to stand by it. Okay, Jerry, now, it, 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 there was no question, we played it before you came on the air, that uh, Fred launched a pretty good attack against Huckabee. Mm -hmm. Would he launch the same sort of attack against John McCain? Does he feel the same about McCain as he um, does Huckabee? The disagreements with, with John are different. Uh, I do do, you know, I know that Fred and John agree on more on the national security front, definitely, than he and Governor Huckabee. I don't, um, you know, Fred should speak for himself on a lot of this, but I know he's he's come out already and distinctly disagreed with John on immigration strongly. I mean, John came out for comprehensive immigration reform, which Fred, quite frankly, you know, if you want to say he was drafted, a lot of folks wanted him to get in when he started doing his ABC radio commentary, and he said, you know, to the president of Mexico, what does it say about your country? when the exportation of your citizens is the basis of your economy. You know, we have, we should be a country of high fences and wide gates, and we decide who we let in and when. John McCain did not agree with that. Now, since he's been, you know, going around the country for a year, now I understand he's heard the message that, you know, enforcing the borders matter, but he didn't think that then. Secondarily to that, fiscally, um, you know, Fred and John disagree on, on the tax cuts that, that, that Bush put in in 01. I think he changed his mind in 03 and supported him then. But, um, you know, Fred is a staunch fiscal conservative. If you go to fredowait.com, Fred's got a very comprehensive tax plan, which is very similar to Rudy's new plan. All right. I want to wish you luck in South Carolina. Thank you, thank Jerry you so Thompson, much for all your support. It's very good to talk to you. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Bye-bye. That's uh, Jerry Thompson. Very nice lady. Yeah. I think ill-deserving of, uh, of the accusations that some have made. That uh, you know she's young and beautiful, and uh, Fred got a young and beautiful wife. And what's, Scratch called her a trophy wife, right? Yeah. What What's wrong with a young and beautiful wife if you're Fred Thompson? And 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 considering she's so smart and well spoken and makes a good case for him. Sounds like a perfect situation. Scratch actually. doing that well? No, his ratings stink.
Oh, I know his ratings stink. I'm, how's he doing? In, well, I'm, no clue. I have no idea either. Email John. Get the Gibson Radio Podcast. Look at pictures of him on his horse. I saw a pale horse, a pale rider upon it. Go to GibsonRadio.com.